Hello everyone, welcome to a form of farming in the Philippines. Well, as luck would have it, I was just... I was just over by the piggery. I was going to bring down a sack of rice hulls to put in these pits down here, but there aren't any. So I'm just going to check here and see how these guys are doing. And they're doing very well, looks like. Now that guy right there, that chick right there, is not doing that great. I can tell it's not liking the weather. Kind of has it head. It kind of has its head pulled in, kind of acting like a turtle. And these guys here are all huddled up. That one's the same thing. And it's hot. I mean, I'm sweating. I just walked back up from the Azola pit. And it's not like it's cold. Hopefully we don't lose any more of those. Oh, well, there you go. I was going to bring down some rice hulls, but looks like someone beat me to it. Well, I'm going to find something and transfer a little bit of this, because those, the ones that need it the most, those little chicks over there don't have any. So I'm going to move this around a little bit and use that bucket right there. success I'm going to have with this bucket, but that's all I've got. What are you doing, huh? I'm going to open this door to get in there because the rice holes are right back up against it. Now, yeah, let's see. First, I guess I got to take the wire off. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, so I have a little bit of a bed here. There you go, guys. That'll be good enough for them. One more little bit here. What do you want? Hmm? What are you thinking? Hmm? You good chicken? Hmm? Let me put this right here. For these guys. edge here and that'll give them a nice comfy little bit too all right well we'll have to catch you yeah, I'm going to have to catch you. Come here. Come on. 
Now you get over in there and behave. Come on. Don't be a hard-headed chicken. And it gives them something to do to break up their day, same as it does with the pig. See, they're scratching in that right there. Being chickens. Really, I should bring one more bucket to put in each side. In fact, I think I will. I never did get around to pulling one of these feeders out today. I haven't felt good today. And I'm trying not to get sick because I can't be sick around Marcel and Charlie. And so I, I didn't do much today. Uh, nothing physical today anyway. So I'm trying to get over this, whatever it is. But I definitely need to get these feeders adjusted. Yeah, these guys kind of have that kind of sort of droopy look too. They just don't like this change in weather. Well, at least Constantine was thinking, and they brought the last bag of rice hulls down here. I'm going to go retrieve my chair out of the rain and sit and watch the chickens. Because sitting and watching chickens does me as much good as going out and feeding the fish. And since I didn't make it out to feed the fish today because I was napping, being a lazy, sick old fart, I'm going to get my tranquil tranquility fixed by watching the chickens. Hopefully Nene won't get too upset with me. Because she's going to be on one side of the fence and I'm going to be on the other. And for those of you who don't like watching chickens being chickens, you can skip ahead. Me, I like watching chickens being chickens.
Marcel and I used to come down here when we had our first little bunch of chickens. We had a hundred that we put in here. And then, I can't remember, maybe another hundred as well. Because I do know that when I went back to the States that first time, we had 200 chickens in here. That little guy there's got him a bug or something. So the chase is on. And anyway, Marcel and I would come down here, both with a chair. We both had chairs in here, believe it or not. And, uh... We would both sit, because we both enjoyed it, and we would just sit in here and watch the chickens be chickens. <coughs> Alright, well I put that extra bucket in each side, and these guys here are merrily spreading it around. There is still a little bit of rice left in these rice hulls, just a little bit. Once in a while they'll find a little morsel in there, which I'm sure they enjoy. And it gives them something to do. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.